In this video, I'm going to talk to you about and show you how to do multi-group moderation in Smart PLS. Let's say I have a model like this, and I want to know if the effect between communication openness and process satisfaction is significantly different between males and females. Well, currently, uh, in version 2.0, it is not designed to do this between groups. There is no function up here I can select to do a multi-group moderation. And so you have to go through great pains to get this done. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Buckle up. Here's what you do first. You need to go to your data set and split it into males and females. So you have two new data sets. The way that you do that is you go to data, select cases, if condition is satisfied, if gender, which for me is way down here, equals one, that's males, continue. What we're going to do is we're going to copy selected cases to a new data set. And I'll say male for PLS. Name it whatever you want. Hit OK. And this is tricky. The one that pops up actually isn't the new data set. It's the original data set. So switch over to the new one. You'll see it says male for PLS up here. Save it. Call it male for PLS save and I'm also going to save as a dot CSV because that is what smart PLS accepts as a data set go ahead and close that and do this again select cases if condition is satisfied where gender equals two that's females Hit o. and then I'll copy selected cases to new data set we'll call this female for PLS hit OK Again, it's not the one that popped up, it's the one behind it. Save as female for PLS. Save, and then file save as .csv. Here we go, save. And now, go back to your smart PLS model, and you're going to upload new data. The way you do this is you right click on your project folder, import indicator data and I'm going to import females okay and finish you see it showed up and has the green validated V next to it meaning that's the data set we'll be using to test the model let me upload a new data set import male okay finish and now the male is selected as the one we'll be using let me go ahead and right click PLS paper the whole data set and say use data for calculation. So when I run this, it's now going to use all the data, all males, all females, and we'll see that the effect is 0.266, which if we then bootstrap, bootstrap here, finish, we see that that is a significant effect. Uh, 3.652 is the T statistic. Anything above about 1.96 is significant at the 95% confidence level. Let's see if that changes when we use just males. So right click, use this data, you'll see the green B show up, and we'll do the PLS algorithm. 377, that's higher. Let's go use females and see what it says. 156, substantially lower. So the question is, is 156, is 156 substantially or statistically different from the 377 we saw for males? We can eyeball it and say, yeah, it looks a lot different. For males, this effect is much stronger. But if you want a statistic uh, to provide evidence for its statistical difference, you have to do a lot more. What you have to do is use this formula that Win Chin provides on his website, his FAQ about PLS website, to calculate a T-score. or a t-statistic, excuse me. And then you can use Excel to provide a either two-tailed or right-tailed p-value. So well, let's do that. I've broken this down into many little pieces and then made it super easy. So all you have to do is enter your sample size, regression weight, and standard error. Let's do that. So to do this, I'm going to bootstrap. Here we go, bootstrap, finish. And I'm going to go to the default report go to path coefficients, look for the sample mean between communication openness and process satisfaction. 
For females, the sample mean, that is the mean or the average estimate after running all of the 200 samples is 1 point, or 0.1589. So let me go enter that female 0.1589 for the regression weight. The standard error is just to the right of this. Here's the standard error, 0 0.0447. 0047. Is that right? Yep. Enter. And the sample size, let's go find out the sample size. Here's the female for PLS. Just go down to the bottom. I have 158 of them. Here we go, 158. Let's go find out for males. As long as I'm here, is the male data set open? Nope. So I'll go open the male data set. Say male for PLS. Go to the bottom. I have 188 males. 188. Let's go run that model using the male data. Right click, use data for calculation, bootstrap, finish, default report, path coefficients, mean of subsamples is 337. So 0.337, standard error is just to the right, 0 0.0674, 0 0.0674, <clears throat> and our T statistic for the difference between these effects is 2.122. That is significant at the two-tailed 95% um, confidence level. If I wanted a right-tailed only, what I could do is change this formula Instead of two-tailed, it changes to a right-tailed, hit enter, and that's my two-tailed probability, 0 0.017. So that is significant. Let me go ahead and change this back. Okay. And so we can say with 95% confidence that the effect between communication openness and process satisfaction is significantly different for males than for females such that the effect for males is stronger than for females. Okay, I'm gonna take this just one step further. What if we wanted to do moderated mediation? So we wanna know if the mediated effect here was different between males and females. Oof, it's actually the same process. We've already split our data, fantastic. We've run it for males and for females and we have both reports right here. What we'll do is instead of looking at the path coefficients, go look at the total effects. And we can see the total effect from communication openness to process satisfaction, that is including the effects through decision efficiency. Those effects are for females right here, 0 0.3037. So we'll just stick that in here. 0.3037 for me oh and let's get the standard error which is 0 0.0447 and that's what we had before good for males the effect is let's go to the total effects here we go the effect is 4843 0 0.4843 and the error is 66 no that's the deviation excuse me Error is 0669. 0.0669. And here we have it. The total indirect effect, or the total effect, including the indirect effect, from communication openness to process satisfaction, including the effect between or through decision efficiency, is statistically different for males than for females. And the effect for males is stronger. So that we do have moderated mediation in this case. I hope this has been helpful.